It's not just passenger cars and light duty pickups that are going green. A company called Nikola is looking to revolutionize heavy hauling with its battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell powered Class A trucks. This towering beast is called the Trey Bev. Trey for three and Bev, of course, for battery electric vehicle. Now, this is essentially a reworked Iveco big rig from Europe. I mean, they share essentially the same cab. However, the frame is completely different because obviously there's a unique drivetrain in this Nikola truck. What we have here, 733 kilowatt hours of lithium ion battery capacity spread across nine different modules. That gets you a manufacturer estimated range of about 330 miles. Pretty impressive, though of course your mileage will vary if you're driving this truck at lower speeds in the city where regenerative braking comes into play. That number might go up, though of course if you're out on the highway, the range estimate could go down because of higher speeds. As for charging, when hooked to a 350 kilowatt power source, you should be able to hit an 80% state of charge in just 90 minutes, which ain't too bad for such a massive battery pack. Now, when it comes to performance, we have a twin motor axle right here that provides 645 continuous horsepower, though I'm told the peak figure is north of 1,000, which gives this truck a top speed of 70 miles an hour and a gross combined weight rating of 82,000 pounds. All right, this is Nikola's fuel cell powered truck, which of course is broadly similar to the battery electric model. And that applies to many of the specifications, including the gross combined weight rating, which is also 82,000 pounds. Though, of course, there are some significant differences between these models. And one that's very obvious is the cab size. Look at how much bigger it is here on the fuel cell version. And that is because they've got three of the five hydrogen tanks mounted behind the driver right in this area here. The other two, of course, are down low next to the frame rails. Altogether, those should provide about 500 miles of driving range, and I'm told they should refill in just about 20 minutes, which of course is very comparable to a diesel-powered truck. So at the business end of this vehicle, we have the same two-motor axle assembly that comes on the Trey Bev, and in this application, it provides 536 continuous horsepower, plenty of giddy-up for this vehicle. Now, the powertrain also features a 164 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack, which does a couple of things. So the fuel cell generates the electricity, sends that to the battery, which then gets routed to the motors here as needed based on driving conditions. But of course, with a battery pack that serves as an energy reservoir so you can recuperate through regenerative braking, a lot of the energy that would normally be wasted when you hit that brake pedal, which of course improves the range and efficiency of this truck. But I've got to warn you, fuel cells do have a problem with emissions because they produce pure water. And as we all know, water causes flooding erosion. It will make iron and steel rust and corrode other metals as well. Plus, water is absolutely terrible for your lungs. So <laughs> a lot of people tell me fuel cells are the future and they're going to green up transportation, but I'm not so sure. So one major difference between the Trebev here and the Aveco big rig it is based on is that the interior is all new and I think drivers are really going to like it. For starters, you can see we have stand-up amounts of headroom in here. It's practically like a cathedral. Additionally, lots of great storage space, a couple lockers here above the dashboard, a wonderful place to stash belongings when you are out on the road. But that is not all because we have a super comfortable driver's seat that adjusts in many ways and even has lumbar that you can adjust to help keep fatigue at bay when you are out on those long distance trips. Additionally, we have a 17 inch touchscreen here on the center console that looks and more importantly feels like something you would get in a modern passenger car, which is wonderful news of course for heavy truck drivers. Safety is a big concern as well and this truck has several cameras on it to help provide advanced driver assistance technologies including things like lane keeping assist and automatic emergency braking again to improve safety out on the road. Behind the wheel of the Trey Bev, all electric class eight truck. And you don't appreciate how gigantic these vehicles are until you have to climb into the cab or get behind the wheel. They are gargantuan. But I've got to say, 
the performance is pretty damn good. Now, of course, I don't have a trailer hooked up to this particular truck, but like in any other EV, you get immediate off the line torque, which is exactly what you want in a heavy duty application like this. Terrible racing line, but we're not here to set lap times. As fun as that might be, I don't think you'd appreciate having the truck tipped over on its side. It'd be a pretty bad day. Anyway, the handling is a little bit ponderous, as you might expect, and the cab has its own sort of suspension system, so it's moving around as you're driving, which is a little bit disconcerting, but hitting the throttle to the floor. This thing scoots, this thing seriously moves. Again, top speed is 70 miles an hour. I hit about 60 here on this straightaway. No trouble whatsoever, but again, I don't have any load on the back of this truck. What's remarkable though, is that the tray bev here is pretty much silent. There's no clattering diesel engine, no Jake brake, none of that stuff. It's, it just whispers like any electric passenger car, which has gotta be a great relief for truck drivers who have to put up with that noise and vibration all day, every day. We also have regenerative braking in this truck. There should be six different levels of regen, which you can adjust with this stock here on the steering column. I have it in right now the most aggressive setting, which again, feels a lot like what you would get in an electric passenger car. So you're putting as much energy back into the battery pack so you can use that later on. If I click the stock all the way up, we just kind of sail right along, which might be nice out on the highway, though I could see using more aggressive regen in the city. And of course, it's going to be more useful in the city for recuperating energy because you're stopping a lot more often. So obviously we're not moving right now, but I've got to say driving these trucks back to back, they feel remarkably similar. Lots of torque, very smooth, extremely quiet. There's a bit more whirring and vibration, a tiny bit more vibration with the fuel cell just because there's a lot more going on, but these trucks are super refined. I think drivers will really appreciate the work Nikola is doing here. These two new truck models are smooth, quiet, comfortable, powerful, and they are extremely clean, so you don't have to worry about breathing in noxious fumes all day, every day, while you're on the job. As for pricing, the Trey Bev will start at about $392,000, and the fuel cell version will kick off at about four hundred and fifty dollars with a gigantic caveat because customers will not actually be paying those prices for these big rigs, depending on the state you live in, the dealer you're purchasing from, how many you're buying, there are all kinds of different discounts that will significantly lower those prices, probably cutting them in half, in fact. So overall, they should be priced pretty comparably to diesel-powered big rigs. It's also important to note these are real vehicles. Nikola has about 68 of them in service right now with customers and roughly another 113 available for others to purchase. So if you want to go green, give Nikola a call. Beyond that, their fuel cell model just entered production and those should start arriving with customers probably in the October timeframe. Next up, watch my comprehensive walk around of the Harbinger electric delivery vehicle by clicking right over here. Now this van is nowhere near as large as the Trey Bev, but it is still loaded with clever features.